Brian here from freesalonadeducation.com here. And I really wanted to get this wonderful transformation we're about to do today on camera because I feel like this is something, especially this time of year, and really any time of year when people just realize they want a big change and they're not necessarily sure what direction to go. When they've gone really, really blind, they now realize they don't want the upkeep or maybe it was a little too rough on their hair and they want to kind of dial it back with something that's going to be easy to grow out and just give it a little bit more natural of a look. So this is our lovely model, Jen, who has been an amazing blonde for quite some time now and has just decided to sort of dial it back a little. So I've been discussing with her that our best course of action, we're going to sort of do a reverse balayage. Uh, I'm going to go through with very similar sectioning that I use on balayage, but instead of painting my lightener on to create that highlight, I'm going to go through and start painting the dark on to create that depth. So I'm discussing with her, my course of action is going to be to use semi-permanent color for a couple of different reasons. One, I want to make sure that it's a look that she likes and she's going to want to see with that. And using a semi-permanent doesn't exactly marry her to that, just in case she decides, oh, you know what, I'd rather stay super blonde. The other benefit of that is, eventually I know she's going to want to continue with the balayage look, but we're going to need to add highlights to keep that look going. So when using a semi-permanent, I know that with my balayage lighteners, it will lift your semi-permanent color easier and cleaner, which will mean that when we transition from adding dark to adding light to continue that look, I'm still, I'm not going to be yeah. fighting against myself with having really put a really dark, dark permanent color in there. So yes. in discussing what yeah. colors I suggest for her, she, uh, she had some ideas and we sort of worked together back and forth, explaining to her that with the goals that we have in mind for this, I wanted to use something that's close to her natural so that as that grows out, she doesn't have another line of demarcation. So we've only got a fraction of an inch of root here to work with, which is good because then the, the blonde that I leave will be like a very close highlight that was left very close to the scalp. So I think we're deciding on somewhere between a level seven and eight for her low light because then it won't be so dark that the color comes out hollow going over this really light blonde, but it'll definitely be dark enough to add that depth and that dimension that she likes. So. We're gonna get started, stay tuned, let's see. All right, so here we are, we've got all of Jen's color on and she's now processed. I'm getting ready to take her back to the wash house, but I wanted you to see it first to really get a little bit of a visual for those that prefer to learn that way uh, on what we did here. So again, in trying to give her a nice grown out sort of post summer, her nice natural highlights have sort of become that balayage. We went through and I started working off of her natural part because just like when working with balayage, you want to work off of a natural part anyway. Kept her natural part, and then I went through and just did, just like your typical single process retouch, where I just went over her root just to make sure that it was going to be a nice even color from root through the end. So natural part, single process retouch, being careful not to feather it too far out. And then I went back through, starting in the back, making sure that you have an end idea in mind. Because as I went through each of these sections, I wanted it to end up as more of a highlight, focusing on the ends being lighter, but still having a little bit of a low-lighted effect. So some of the sections I, I went through, and just like in a balayage video, I left the outside of the V of that section blonde and just painted the inside. And then some of the sections I went through and actually used my fingers to smush it from the roots down through almost to the ends. That way it breaks it up a little bit so that it's not too solid of an effect because I really want a natural feel to this. And we all know that the, most, the best way to have something natural is to have it be kind of erratic. So as I came up through the top of her head, the top sections right in the crown, I actually brought the color all the way through to give a little bit of a veil of darkness where it'll show that it grew out. After I did that going all the way through all four quadrants of the head, I then did what you do in any balayage. I looked at her in the mirror and I saw what areas felt like they were gonna be a little too solid and then just went in and hand painted a little bit of a low light knowing that I used a sheer demi-permanent color, so it's not gonna be a dark stripe as much as just a nice shadow of dimension, really highlighting the blonde that she already had. So now we're gonna take her back and wash her out, and then the step that you're probably not gonna see, I am gonna overlay everything with a nice light level, maybe a nine or 10 sheer semi-permanent color, just to marry everything together. So there you go. We'll see you in a few minutes with the end result. All right, so here we are with the finished product. Uh, just like I said, I went in with an overlay of the whole thing after the lowlights were all done. Uh, it was a 
semi beigey mixture of warm and cool colors at a level nine, just to kind of marry everything together to make sure that there wasn't too stark of a, a difference. I didn't want the, the blonde to look like that just bleached out blonde anymore. I want it to be a nice soft color to go with the freshly colored roots. So now as you move through her hair, you can see the dimension that's been put in there. It's not too much of a shock to her system. She still feels like a nice bright blonde. But as you can see, when the hair moves, we've got, just like when you do balayage, you've got the, uh, the highlights actually framing all the layer work, whether her hair gets pulled back or if she wears it down. And it travels through the back. You can see we left it having that, that darker overlay up top just helps to create a nice story so that as you get through the lengths here, it just gets lighter when it gets through the ends. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed Jen's little transformation. Uh, be sure to subscribe and check us out at freesaloneducation.com. Thanks. Bye.